back everybody so we are talking the latest update of your fire stick fire tv fire tv cubes everybody should have it by now and um, we're going to go through all the latest new features um, we're going to show you what they are we're going to show you what can be done and we're going to talk about a few things quickly beforehand if you can comment underneath as we go through the video any questions also comment your favorite features on your streaming device doesn't matter what streaming device you use let us know your favorite features and as always if you're brand new here do remember to hit that subscribe button we'll bring you some more videos day by day plus if you're a regular watcher do drop that share or hit that thumbs up and let's get on with it so the latest fire stick fire tv update went live probably over the last four to six weeks if not longer we did cover it when it first came out now we're, all of you should have it and we know a lot more facts about what's new. Starting with these features here, um, these icons, the new menu, okay. And this one, device is not connected to a network. Access thousands of apps, movies, music and more when you, not con when you connect Fire TV to your network. To connect to your TV device, go to settings, network and follow the instructions. A very interesting one here. We're going to look more into that one and we're going to cover that in a later video. Right, before we go through the icons... We're going to go into our settings and have a quick look at a couple of other things which have turned up. So in your settings, go to network. And in here, you see all the available networks for you. And what you can do on these is click to check network, okay? So if you push the play button now, you can check the network. And as you see now, you get a lot more information than you used to. This is sort of rolled out over the last few updates. Here connected to Wi-Fi, connect to the internet, network download speed. Okay, and behind my head, we now get a run speed test button, which you can run your speed test straight above us, which is straight up there now, as you'll see. So you don't need any external speed testing app anymore. So you don't need to install one. That's another great space saver on your device. So if you currently have a speed tester, you can remove it because we have a tester built in now. And here we go, there's my speed, so I've got 405 down. Beautiful. Obviously, if you want a little bit more information about your upload speeds, things like that, then you can install one, but that's not that important on a Fire Stick, okay? You can also go to Advanced. In here, you've got a lot more information, okay? Talks about your, um, your strength, the noise, everything like that. Really interesting one to get involved in if you're interested in that stuff. But compared to what we used to have, loads of information brilliant that's a great new thing on network other one a lot of people might notice under my fire tv developer options has disappeared for a lot of people um i'm going to create a separate video going forward on how to step by step bring it back but for any of you that it is missing for on the latest updates if you go to about where it says your actual Fire Stick, whether it says Fire TV Stick 4K Max, Fire TV Stick Lite, Fire TV Stick, click on it seven times, okay? So you push the select button on your remote seven times. If you click it seven times, those developer options will come back again, okay? But that's for anybody who's had that removed. Again, if that's any of you, let us know in the comments underneath. Another good thing we've noticed, under applications, manage and manage installed applications in here we seem to have a lot more information than we did before so not only can you now clear the cache with the rewind button which was very useful um, has staggered in over the last couple of updates as well you could also now sort okay you could always show all applications and hide some you can now sort and sort by app size so all your big apps are at the top. So if you want to get rid of something which has taken up a lot of space, they're here. And the good thing is if you want to in uninstall something which is big, um, which you're not using anymore, you can push the play button and just quickly uninstall things now. Okay, And it will tell you how much storage it will free up, everything like that. Very useful instead of having to look through to see what's taken up all the space. I thought it was another good little touch. Right, finally, what do we have here then? So we've got the new menu. Um, what are your thoughts on this new menu? For me, it's quite slick. It's in a better order. Um, I like the find. is straight into a search. Nice and easy. They've also made the find section a little bit better. 
Um, I know yours may look a little bit different if you're in a different country, but you can go straight down to recommended categories, kids, family, sport, TV programs, app store. Uh, obviously, sport will bring up quite a bit. You'd be surprised at how much is included with Amazon Prime. Um, app store, you can go in and you can actually find a lot in here. Obviously, these have been here all the time, but they've made it easier and more accessible for you. Obviously, all categories in your app store, there's a lot of stuff you wouldn't know about, okay? Next up, we have Home, so just your home screen. This will show some programs you've probably been watching on your Fire Stick. Um, you can scroll down, your recently used apps, you use your stuff, okay? Then you've got a lot of their promo stuff um, where they people pay to be advertised there, okay? Live. Live is good. They seem to have improved live a little bit more. They've put a few new apps in new places. Um, you've got a live TV guide. Uh, you can click on your live TV guide and you can get loads of different things here. You can also import apps into your live TV guide. We do have a video about that on the channel. So if you're interested in anything like that, do remember to hit subscribe to the channel and we have a look through the channel and there will be one about live TV setup and the best live TV on your Fire Stick. Um, if that's something you want a fresh video on, again, you can let us know in the comments below. Again, you get all your featured live TV apps here. Uh, many, again, some may be different around the world. You've got Freevee, um, which is directly under there now. Um, I have Pluto TV because I have Pluto installed. And then you can add some Prime channels. And then obviously you can do your settings and set up your live TV guide. And next is my stuff. So if you add stuff to your watch list, which I don't use, um, Cruel Summer, never watched it, so I'm not quite sure why it's in my watch list. Um, I'm sure it's just automatically added there by Amazon. Remove from watch list, there we go. But here's what you, you purchase, rentals and watch list items. So if you were here, maybe you could click on this. If you click the three lines on your uh, remote, add to watch list. And then it'll be in your watch list. Good thing about watch list is if you have multiple Fire Sticks in your house and you can add them all to your watch list and then you can skip between Fire Sticks, things like that, and find what you're watching very easily. Whew, we got through a lot there. Knowing me, I spoke too quickly. But as always, if you like what you saw, do remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're a regular watcher or a new watcher, we really appreciate the shares. Quickly before you leave, quick word from one of our partners. We've got an exclusive discount for IP Vanished. Limited time offer on the summer sale is $3.33 a month. Link directly underneath. We don't have any Patreon. We don't have any memberships. So if you do want to help support the channel, IP Vanish VPN is a great way to do that because we get a little bit of commission and you get a VPN. The VPN will go on your Fire Stick, your streaming device, and we use it in some apps when we're accessing outside of the country it's for demonstrations and things. So it might be useful for you to continue along. Powerful internet privacy, simplified data protection. All on one device. Brilliant. I hope that was good for you. I've been Doc Squiffy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.